Okay, so I was reading some of my comments uh, by my haters or my critics, and um, some of them were really stupid. Like, um, you know, they said that I didn't like it because I feared it change, or um, I couldn't get used to the layout or whatever. That's not the reason, folks. The reason was um, for that Unity video is because it was buggy. You know, as far as like new technologies, or whatever, I use new shit like every week. You know. Um, the gnome shells video that thing was new I gave it a higher grade because a it was actually polished um, the arrow stamp actually works like it's supposed to um, design wise it was really nice and the usability kinda sucks though uh, it's probably on the same boat as unity because it's really not as fast as my current system um, but overall I gave it a higher grade apply that same shit to the unity video bugginess inconsistency arrow snap doesn't really you know it ain't even finished so that, that's why I gave it the way uh, or whatever I said in that video uh, that's why I gave it uh, as far as the layout in unity it's not really new folks I mean I've been using that for like years before even they announced unity and let me show you my layout so you can understand uh, it's probably new for you guys, but it wasn't new for me, and I was not even impressed by it. But here you go. You have a dock here, or I have this uh, Avant Windows Navigator here. You can use any dock you want, like Docky or maybe Kyra Dock, whatever. But I'm using AWN here, and um, I have it as auto hide. Although, if you want to emulate like um, uh, the Unity launcher or whatever, they're using IntelliHide. Uh, so some of these people they think oh I got more real estate or whatever you could have do you could have done that right now using your LTS machine your you know 1010 machine so it's just ridiculous when I hear these dumbasses telling me this look let me show you okay let me open a folder and now it's, it's uh, auto high but let's just change this to uh, some settings here let's, you know you can move it to the right or left too so there's another customize if you want. Uh, as far as the behavior, you can change it to IntelliHigh. And this is the behavior that they use uh, in uh, the launcher, the Unity thing. You can move it up and down, right? Not a big deal there. But let's let's do the IntelliHigh. And let's, let's show you, you dummies that uh, don't understand. Right, you have a dock here. Uh, maximize it. Shit disappear right now where have you seen that before uh, move the windows here it disappears you can actually make it visible all the time if you want to but you know so that's IntelliHigh that's what they were using as far as the dock and they had like a hotkey for it I don't think anyone's gonna use the fucking hotkey uh, and they wasted six months just making a new dock and, and that's all they can do a hotkey and the cover flow uh, but vertical not impressive okay um, <clears throat> so that being said uh, if you actually break down the unity like the whole layout whatever the only thing that's actually really new is the dock that they have and the search feature and like I said the search feature ain't that great you know uh, I believe it's the same thing in, in uh, gnome shells and you can actually use you know like Kunfer Kunfer would be my number ch my number one choice, but some people like Gnome Do also. Uh, third place would probably be Synapse. But Kunfer to launch your stupid applications. Let's say I open, you know, VLC. Look at that. Whoops his ass with that shit. Uh, let's say you want to open uh, two applications. I don't know. Let's open Terminal and GP. Rename. Open two or more applications if you want. Look at that. Um, oh yeah, let's do some other stuff that that search feature in Unity doesn't even have. Let's say you want to browse folders from here, right? You can do what is it, wallpapers or whatever, and you can open subfolders from here. Look at that, it's quick, right? So the search feature and the dock, you can do it right now on your current system without even updating and, and using a buggy system um, the third thing is that they fuse the menus uh, into the dash 
you don't actually you know, that that thing <clears throat> is confusing a lot of people also you can actually just use your old menus that you had all the you know all this time still here and you still have all the other options of the dock and the launcher the keystroke launcher uh so that handles that part and they use compiz but they dragging compiz down with it cuz it was kind of actually buggy but um what they have there in their let me open some applications so we can do some of these effects that they had all right so we have some applications open uh one thing that they did was they had the uh was it called expo feature so this is how I set it up folks right you have hot corners so they have a corner here a corner here you can even use the edges also but I use the corners click on the corner there you go you have um, you know different views here for all your ports I mean all your workspaces and there you go same shit uh, they had it on their their dock that's a waste of time when you have hot corners I well, just use that, right? Uh, other things is the scale feature. Click on top here, see all your applications. Let's close one. The middle click on maybe this one. There you go. Let's close. Done deal, right? Uh, here's some extra stuff. This is how I navigate through uh, workspaces. Besides the scale feature, I can go uh, click on you know the uh, edges. So I click on that top one or the bottom one. I go here, this side, that side. Um, oh yeah, let's go back to the what was that? The grid feature. Look at this. Uh, I can use the grid feature here too. Uh, kind of like the arrow snap shit, but uh, you can do more than that. So with my mouse again, uh, I just click to the corner I wanted to go to. So if I wanted to do the side by side thing, click on this application. Click here click over here it binds it bottom top here you get the idea right it whoops its ass with productivity right there um so what else I think you need to say oh yeah global menu I mean the global menu they had is it's the same shit I had for like uh, or the same shit I talked about like two years ago and they actually haven't fixed anything it's basically they slap it on by default without even fixing it and that's why I wasn't impressed by it but if you don't want to believe me you know just search for my video on YouTube global menu and you see that shit like two years ago so not impressed people as far as the uh, overlay scroll bars I actually said I liked it but you know it's not consistent with their design because it doesn't work with all the applications other than that I don't really have a problem with the overlay scroll bars uh, so no not impressed at all you can actually do it right now and it's quicker um, so the only thing that I said about GNOME shells and unity is that unity was actually better than than um, you know the was it no I mean GNOME shells was actually better than unity um, basically because you know they actually polish it and that's it if you really want to be like quicker then just use my layout that's really all they need to do folks was copy my layout and tweak it a little bit and you have a, a fast ass motherfucking productive machine um, so that's it for the idiots that you know don't know this or this is like the first time using the unity layout which is not really original because I've seen it like on other distros before um, so that's it for this one though